All right, Shalom. This is Brother Kaya here with another video with GMS Charlotte. I want to start off by giving all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. That's the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son. The Father's name is Yahweh, the Son's name is Yahweh Shah. Double honors to my elders and my apostles at Great Millstone for teaching me this truth. And double salutations to you, Akim, out there in the four corners, teaching and pushing forth this truth with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. The um, video, the lesson I wanted to go into today was uh, talking about how we need to be studying, man. You know, truly understanding the word of Yahweh Bashem Shah, studying to show ourselves approved unto Yahweh Bashem Shah, because we all seeking, you know, the 144,000 year life. We seeking salvation, man. You know. But with that being said, I'm gonna go into the scriptures. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 28. I mean, Salakia, chapter 4, verse 28. It says, "For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh Bashem Shah, so being returned, seek him ten times more." In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4, it speaks about Yahweh Shem Shah taking away our um, our heritage. You know, everything we knew about him, he took it away from us, you know, as a punishment. You know what I'm saying? And that's why it says, for as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh Shem Shah, so be in return, seek him ten times more. So now, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shah, through our elders and apostles, we're coming back unto Yahweh Shem Shah. You know, coming back to worshiping him, serving our only power, man. You know what I mean? So we have to seek in ten times more. How do you seek the Lord? You seek the Lord through these scriptures, man. Because this is the word. You know? Look up words. Be diligent. Truly understand it. Don't just read it to read it. You know what I'm saying? Because there's, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of things in here that we need to know. This is There's everything in here that we need to know. Because this is our book, man. To you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You Israelites. This is our book. So we need to study it. So we can truly understand our power and ourselves, man. You know, and like I said earlier, we studying to show ourselves approved unto Yahweh Shem Shah. You know that He doesn't forsake us in the day of our salvation, man. You know, this is the book of Second Timothy, chapter two, verse fifteen. It says, "Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh Shem Shah, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth." Yeah, it says, "Study to show thyself approved, man. Study again. Look up words, man." Understand the Hebrew, understand the law, statutes, and commandments. You know what I mean? To um to the best of your ability, man. Give diligence. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. We're workmen, we don't need to be ashamed that we know there's truth, man. You know? That's why we continue to study the truth. Rightly dividing the word of truth. How do you rightly divide you know what I'm saying? This how do you rightly divide the scriptures, man? You read it, you understand it, and you continue to give diligence to understand it, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't just read it to read it. Understand it. The Hebrew word for um, understand is bayan. You know? And the Hebrew word for diligence is karatazah. Karatazah. You know? So with those two, with those three things, man, you know what I'm saying? Reading, understanding, giving diligence, that's how you rightly divide the word of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. Because again, this is our book. We need to be understanding it, man. You know? We, we, we understand it well, well we need to understand it so we can make our calling and election sure is you know what I'm about to go into this is the book of second Peter chapter 1 verse 10 it says wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure for if you do these things you shall never fall it says give diligence again the Hebrew word for diligence is haratazah you know to make your calling and election sure. So we need to be pushing, man. We need to always be pushing. We need to always be fervent in the spirit, man. Always studying, man. Studying our Hebrew, man. Do not be slack in these things, man. Because the Lord can destroy you for being simple, man. For being a sluggard, you know. To make your calling and election sure. Yeah, that election, the 144,000 and one third, man. But mainly, primarily the 144,000. We, you know, Abaratazah. We have that number, man. The, the men of Great Millstone, Abaratazah, we have that number. We, we give it all diligence, man, so we can make our calling sure, man. That's why we push it, man. We continue in the push. We continue in the study, man. You know? Because we, we want to get beamed up in them chariots, man. The so-called UFOs, those are the chariots of Yahweh Shem Shah, man. You know? We want to be up in those. Praising the Lord all the day long, man. That's why we have to um, continue to, you know, stay in the spirit and be studying all the time. You know? For if you do these things, you shall never fall. We're not going to fall. We can't fall off from the truth. If you continue to be diligent in it, you know, you do it willingly, as the scriptures say, you know. But don't do it to the point to where, 
You know what I'm saying? You just you you weary your flesh, man. Because it's it's not good to be studying every single second of the day, man. You know, from sun up to sundown. You know, that's being over righteous, first of all. You know what I mean? That's you you're gonna kill yourself doing that. Matter of fact, let me get that right quick. In the book of Ecclesiastes. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 12. It says, And further, by these, my son, be admonished, of making many books there is no end, and much study is a weariness of the flesh. Yeah, of making many books there is no end. There's so many books out here that, you know, we could be reading. You know, like the uh, the, um, like the National Geographic magazines. You know, the, uh, specifically the one about, um, you know, the Noah's Ark. That's that's just an example. You know, there's uh, other books out here like Babylon and Timbuktu, um, 10 Nature Knows No Color Line. There's a million books. There's a billion books out here that we can be reading about, you know what I'm saying, our culture. Because those books further push and press more that the scriptures is just even more real, man. That should give you faith, man. You know, books like that, it, we can study. But the scriptures, you know, the word of Yahweh Shemashah. This is the truth. This is the um, the word that we truly need to be studying and be diligent in, man. You know, this is this should be our first study habit, man. Just reading and understanding, man. Ask questions. You, that's you know, a form of studying too. Asking questions, man. You know, looking up words. That's why we have the blue letter app out there. You know. Then it says, "And much study is a weariness of the flesh." You're gonna tire yourself out, man. You know, you're gonna be reading. The Bible, your eyes gonna get back and stuff like it's just you know you you don't need to be doing all of that, man. You know what I mean? Again, that's just being over righteous. You gonna wear yourself out doing that? Shit, you might fall out just because of it. You know what I mean? Don't be over righteous, man. You know, everything is a balance. Have a balance. There's an order to doing it, man. You know, study some, rest. You know, study some, rest, and then boom, you gave time to your how about shot, shot, man? And he sees that you being diligent. You know. So, um, you know, my whole point of this, the whole point of the matter is, man, study, man. Because that's going to be the beginning of our salvation, man. Our calling of election. Our, our um, showing ourselves approved until you have Hashem our shot, man. Just study, you know, be able to understand, be able to, you know, give diligence to understand. You know what I mean? So, that was my video, man. That was my little quick lesson. I pray that y'all brothers was edified. And until next time, man. Call her law and lie, Yahweh Bashem Asha. Double honor to my elders and my apostles at Great Millstone for teaching me this truth. And double salutations to your brothers out there teaching and pushing forth the truth with our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom.